Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Cav PJ, man. I'm back at it with another video, and um, yes, I'm reacting to 2K25, the city. Like, look, I said I wasn't gonna buy 2K, and I don't think I was even gonna make any videos on it, but something is telling me, like, maybe 2K25 could have potential. Maybe I'm praying, I'm hoping, please, because it would be pretty fun to stream it and make videos on 2K25. Because honestly, that has been my favorite game. A game growing up, but I just never made videos on it, bro. Um, but let's check out this trailer, bro. The city, man. Please, 2K, please, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping for a good game, bro. Please, that's all. Alright, uh, let's lock in. Let's watch it. Alright, uh, you know what? Already, that's a good thing. Less running around, more doing. Because, bro. Holy 2k24 like bro. I had enough of those quests walking up all the way to get the uh, quest done bro Like it was such a seebs Seriously such a seebs and that made me hate the game so much just walking around so good start good start Wait. Did they bring back the old park? Yo, can you wait? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me you can push people off? Look at this! If this is in the game, you know how crazy that would be? There's no way that's actually in the game. Is this just for trailer purposes? Am I tripping? Someone tell me, because that would be insane. Like, he just pushed him away. And this is in a park game, right? This is in a park game. Or imagine if you can actually push people away. Do you reckon? Burn your rep. Run the rep. Come a little. I mean, all right, that kind of gave me nothing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, what am I even supposed to make of that? Where I think that we're just gonna have to see. Once the game comes out, how good... It all comes down to gameplay, to be honest. It all comes down to gameplay. And cheese, I swear. If there's any cheese... Bro, if there's any cheese, I'm out. I swear. Um, But... I reckon, you know what? I'll get the game. I'll make I'll make videos on it. Screw it. Screw it. I'll make, I'll make videos on it. Because I've never done... Like, actual 2K25 vids. So, I think I'd really actually want to do that. But I'm praying this game is good, man. Praying this game is good. Let me see if there's anything at the end of this trailer. Get Bro, the only thing is... The only thing is the VC problem. That is the that is my only issue right now. Because I know here in Australia, the game is mad expensive. It's going to be like 100 bucks. Plus, upgrading your player to like 85, bro. That's going to be another 100. You're spending... No, I'm not spending 200 on a game, bro. Do you know what I mean? That's insane. If I see crazy VC prices, bro, I swear to God, I'm gonna tweak out. I'm going to tweak out. You know, I just pulled up. I just pulled up a video. It says how much will it cost per build NBA 2K25. Let's let's see. Uh, let's see what this guy says. An NBA 2K is a franchise. You would think they would allow us to transfer VC from one game to the next. This should be some sort of crime or something. I don't. It's, it's I agree. Weird. You guys I agree. are currently able to transfer VC across generational copies as long as they're in the same console family. If you got a NBA 2K for PS4 and PS5, you could transfer VC from those generational consoles. But for some reason, 2K doesn't see it necessary to allow you to keep the VC and transfer from one iteration, one year, one annual cycle to the next. This past through time, that's all gotta change. Imagine, all us players out here, 
having to go through taxation, inflation costs, in a virtual city. Considering in 2K25, they intend to make the city more compact. Does that mean there's less inflation costs? Does that mean we pay out less VC? Is it possible that our builds in NBA 2K25 will cost less than they did in NBA 2K24? We about to get into all the details. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. I mean, what he's saying is facts. So, like, oh, even in 2K24, bro, I, I think I wore, like, the same outfit for, like, the entire game. Just because the VC... Like, bro, to buy the leg sleeves and the arm sleeves is like 1,500, bro. I swear. It's so insane. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in to NBA 2K24. I imagine those players will immediately say, hell nah. And that's mainly because 2K players, they have become accustomed to 2K raising prices each and every single year. Us players, we end up dishing out more and getting less in return. But paying less for our builds is not as far-fetched an idea as a lot of us would like to think. Don't spaz out, let me explain. Each year, I've done my best to calculate how much us 2K players are paying for our builds. And as soon as NBA 2K25 releases, I intend to do the same thing. The cost for builds was trending upward up until NBA 2K24. Every year, I create these graphics to help you guys more easily digest. Yo, let's read, yo, let's read this real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 2K24, your build cost. Bro, are you mad? Your build cost less. Grand total three hundred sixty-four thousand. Two K twenty-three was four hundred seventy-three. Oh, so it went down by like a hundred from twenty-three to twenty-four. Hey, that's a good thing. The cost for each one of our builds and 2k they did something very different in nba 2k24 in nba 2k23 as you guys see on the right side of the graphic 2k used to charge us for each one of our attributes and this allowed me to gauge the cost per build right off rip in nba 2k23 as you guys see the build that i had cost me 473 k vc and that price for one build is absolute insanity man this meant you would have to buy the game then buy a hundred dollar vc pack to cover the cost for this one build and it still wouldn't max out the build as a hundred dollar vc pack would only get you 450,000 vc this 2k23 build cost graphic that i created spread through the 2k community like wildfire it's like we couldn't really see the cost per build until it was right there in our face in black and white the 2k community was immediately outraged ironically in a strange twist of events in nba 2k24 our cost per build went down and it went down significantly we paid more than 100k less for our builds. Now I imagine we got a little break on the cost per build because 2K was really trying to push those Hall of Fame and Pro Passes, also pushing level skips. And boy, did 2K players take the bait. I mean, I know a lot of you guys seen it. How many of you saw 40 overalls like the first or second day out there with each season? It's no secret, a lot of 2K players, they like to buy their way to the top. It ain't nothing. 2K gave them the option and they took it. But in this current version of 2K, NBA 2K24, they did something different with how they charge us for our bills, something we hadn't seen before. Where normally you would be able to calculate your bills totally Total cost in NBA 2K24, you couldn't do that because 2K no longer charged you per attribute. They instead charged you for overall upgrades. And this meant that I was no longer allowed to calculate my total build cost right off rip when I created my. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Is he gonna get to the point? I just wanna see how much 2K25 is gonna be, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm impatient. Is this guy gonna show a graphic or not? Oh, here we go. Screenshots. This is what we wanna see. VC transfer needs to happen. 2K will still make plenty. Okay. Appreciate all the years we've supported 2K's community, but it's time for real change. VC needs to transfer on a year to year basis. At the end of the day, it's still currency that's used daily by many consumers who invest yearly on my player builds. Seeing the VC earned and purchased that will no longer be valid when playing next year's installment is unfair and unacceptable. It's time to treat. Supported 2K as a community, but it's time for a real change. VC needs to transfer on a year-to-year -year basis. At the end of the day, it's still currency that's used in per I goes on to say, we need like an actual currency like an actual account, account in 2K space provided we own and use the same 2K account. It fits to this say here, you know, I don't mind supporting a development team, little people. Build up ways. Come on out and join the- Did bro just like clickbait me? Here we go, guys. 2K25 VC prices. 
450,000 VC, 65 dots. I feel like this is in US as well. So for us Aussies, it's going to be like 100 bucks, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think that would be right, actually. 700, wait, you can buy 700,000 VC? Wait, is this cap? This has got to be cap. Am I, bro, this is cap. That's the biggest lie, bro. Why am I falling for, man, I'm too, man, I fell for this, bro. I really thought you could out here buy 1.4 million VC. Bro, I'm tripping, bro. What took her 23, like in the park? The last time I played like 2K a lot was, I think it was, it might have been 2K20, 20, 21, where I was playing with a mate. I would play park all the time. And it was fun, bro. Like, it was fun. It must have been 20. Um, yeah, and it was good vibes. It was fun. So I, I just want to, you know, pl play like that again. <clears throat> But I just hope there's no cheese, no bomber clat, you know. So that is why I'm going to be buying 2K25 again. Um, I know that I should probably wait for gameplay and everything. But I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray, man. But I will be uploading 2K25 vids. Um, I'll probably do like the whole my career thing. We'll do park. But it should be vibes, bro. It should be vibes. So drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, let's get into this new era of 2K, man. Speak KF PJ. I hope you've had a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.